So who's in charge? Who's in charge of this building? Not you, apparently. Ma'am, I'm going to get your information, so you might as well give it to me. I'm not telling you. No, you, you, ma'am. I'm video recording. Yes, sir. For what purpose? Uh, I work with for a private investigator. So I'm investigating somebody in here. Hey guys, Patriot First Audit's back with another set of videos that demonstrate First Amendment auditors properly exercising their rights in public. Check the description for links to today's videos, and please remember to subscribe and help support this channel. Let's get right into today's videos. Welcome back for another set of videos. I, for one, am always overjoyed every time I get the opportunity to treat our public officials that we have a First Amendment right to record in public. And patriots always make sure they exercise their rights. In this video, you'll see a Karen that is treated and educated about our right to record in public and shuts her down so quick. Let's go ahead and take a look at today's video. Who's the supervisor, ma'am? Is it the lady or the guy? The, the lady? Guy. The guy. Okay. Thank you. Excuse me, who's your supervisor? Who's your supervisor, sir? Are you her supervisor? Are you her supervisor? Who are you with again? Sir, are, are you her supervisor? I don't have to tell you who I am. So you're not gonna you you're not gonna give me any information, even though you're a public servant. You're gonna you're gonna deny me the information that I'm I'm asking for. Okay, what who is his supervisor? Are you his supervisor? What are you doing? So you guys are refusing to speak with me. Okay. You still you still won't tell me who you are. So who's in charge? Who's in charge of this building? Not you, apparently. Ma'am, I'm going to get your information, so you might as well give it to me. I'm not telling you. No, you, you, ma'am, you, no, I'm not. You have to identify yourself. You are being disrespectful. Ma'am, in here, if, and you have no right to come here and push anything and record people without if, their permission. If you anyone, me without my permission, if anyone has been rude, ma'am, it's you. I will definitely sue you. If anyone has I been am rude, not joking with you. It's you. Go if ahead. If you record me without I my am. permission, as an individual, I have every right in the world to not have you record me. And if you record me without my permission, I will file a lawsuit do against you, you and your little YouTube channel. Do what you and need to do. And report you to YouTube. Do, do what okay? you need to do. No, do what you need to do. Closed, um, what's your name? I don't have to give you anything. You're a public servant, uh, ma'am. Nope. 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 Okay. Can I get a paper? You're not, you're not here to ask me for services. You're can here I get, to can I get, violate my privacy, and I don't have to give you. Anything. Can I get some paper? I don't know. So, folks, she's just as rude as she's been from the start. Won't give me her name. Who's man? Who's in charge of this entire building? Who's the boss here? Because I need to get her name. You won't tell me. Who's the boss here? I need to get her name. That's all I need, and I'm and I'll be out of here. I need to know who she is. Okay. Ma'am, who's your boss? So they won't even let me fill out a FOIA request. This is how rude these employees are here. They won't even let me fill out a FOIA request. Won't tell me their names.
First Amendment law here. Can I speak with someone? Um, I'll be looking in a minute. So close the door and have the security guard outside the door. So then um, we can come into the space and get a chair in the hallway. And I'm, I'm, I'm not a First so, Amendment auditor. So you need to stop that's recording the, me, please? That's not what I am. Okay. So you need to stop recording me. Can I, can I get your name? No. You need to stop recording me. Okay. Don't engage. Don't engage. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. See you. That's not that's that's not appropriate. What's your name? What's your name and your badge number? How unprofessional! They won't tell me their names or their badge numbers, and they're public servants. What's your name and your badge number, sir? I'm sorry? Thank you, sir. What's your name, sir? I appreciate it. Now, can you tell them that I can do what I came here to do? Because they've denied me what I came here to do. So this is the police. The Skokie police. I thought they were professional. But they're just, um, just as bad as the other public servants here. Barely wanted to identify themselves. But. How are you, sir? Good, how are you? Good. Well, why, why are you why are you bothering? I'm not bothering them, sir. I'm not bothering them. But you are. I'm not bothering them. I can't, I'm here for a reason. You're, you're bothering them. <laughs> Do you need services? Yes, yes, I do. Okay, so what are you here for? You need I, to I, I need to file a FOIA request. To find a FOIA request? I need to, I need to file a FOIA request. Okay, if you yeah. go in the hallway, I'll give you the information where to send it to, okay? No, I, I just need to fill it out and turn it in to give it to I you. I have to give you the form and you have to send it somewhere else. I'll give that for you. Okay, okay? I, I appreciate it. Okay, All right. you can wait in the hallway. No, but I can give it to you, though. I don't have to send it somewhere else. That's right? fine, I'll forward it on for you. I appreciate uh -huh. it. All right, thank you. I need to know her name. Sorry. Wait in the hallway. We'll get I back. need to know her name, and I need to know your name. Okay. Thank you. All right, folks. I'm gonna wait out here for the paperwork, just because I don't want to, you know, make everyone else in there feel uncomfortable. That's not why I'm here. There are people in there that actually need help. So I don't want to make their lives any more uncomfortable than, that, than it is already. But they are definitely rude. Unbelievable. It trickles down from the top. The entire staff are belligerent, petulant, and do not deserve to be public servants. They just confirmed the report that I, I got. They just confirmed everything I heard about them. They treat people here like crap, talk down to them, rude to everyone that walks through this door that doesn't do exactly what they tell them to do. Deny people services as they wish. Bear with me, folks. Let's see how long it takes her to come out here. 
This is, this is why we do this, to expose public servants that do not need to be working for the public. Public servants who do not know their place, who treat us like we're the servants. And they're the bosses. It's the other way around. My mom's still waiting. Ma'am, I'm still waiting. Okay, please. I don't have all day, please. Thank you. These cops in this one almost completely failed as they thought it would be better to tell the public officials just to ignore them, don't engage with them. Well, I bet the next time somebody goes back to this office, this lady will think twice about raising such a ruckus and calling the police because now she knows that they won't do anything about it and they can't do anything about it. And it's our First Amendment right to record in public. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next video. I personally think doing audits in front of post offices are the best venue because there's so much traffic, you get to educate so many people at once. But that doesn't avoid caring cops like in this following video coming out and throwing out unlawful demands and just being overall rude and unprofessional. Let's go ahead and take a look at this video. Do I need anything? I'll give you some hot cocoa if you have some hot cocoa. No? Uh, no, it's fine. It's too, too cold for that. So, yeah. Uh, just doing what you see. Minding my own business. Sounds good, huh? Yeah, just like he is. He's radio recording. Do you want to? Do you want to go speak to him too, or? I'll see if he's anything. Yeah, yeah. I'm very suspicious of him. Look at him. Glasses, hat, video recording. Isn't that very weird? I'm about to call the police on him. Okay. I think you should talk to him, guys. Let's see if he needs something. Yes, sir. Is there a reason why you're filming, sir? Uh, I'm a journalist working on a story. I'm sorry. I'm a journalist working on a story. What kind of story are you working on? Oh, it's undercover, it's so undercover. I can't say. Now we have three. Three cops over, over, there you go. See? We just gotta call him. No, I get it, but I'm, I'm, I'm calling you guys about him now. I'm gonna go talk to him right now. Please, will, will all three of you talk to him? Like, I have three, I'm surrounded by three people with guns because I have a camera. He has a camera too, nobody's surrounding him. Look, he's calling me names. No, I'm not, I'm not calling you names. You've got people that have called, three people have called the police on you because you're harassing these people. I have not harassed one person. Look. Hey, sir, can you just go there? We'll talk to you in just a second. Okay. I, I have nothing to say, ma'am. Okay, why are you recording? I, have, I don't have to tell you. Okay, do you understand, though, how it would make someone uncomfortable walking in and out of an establishment? I'm a journalist working on a story. Okay. And you have every right to do that. Okay, then I have nothing to say. That's not my concern. You're making me oh, very uncomfortable. Concern. You're making me very uncomfortable. No. Can I have your name and badge number, please? Andrade, 1491. Thank you. Yeah. So can you see how someone, especially with their kids, might feel uncomfortable? I, I choose to remain you. silent. You can. You're not under arrest. Oh, I know that. And I won't be. Okay. I'm out here legally and peacefully minding my own business. And now I'm surrounded by three. You're not minding your own business. I am You're minding my own business. Families walking in and out of the post office. I'm minding my own business. That's I have not, not made business. contact. Yes, it is. Not. Using my First Amendment right to record in public is minding my own business. It's not your own business. You're not you're minding, minding everybody's business if you're recording them. You're not minding my business. I'm not minding your business? You're very curious about me for some reason. Yeah, because like he said, three people call. Can you see how it would make someone uncomfortable? No, I can't. How not? It's 2023. Okay. So There's someone, cameras up there. Recording, your camera is making me very uncomfortable, ma'am. Your body camera is making me very uncomfortable. So what do you want me to do about that? Um, I, should I call the police on you? You can. Okay, I think I will. You might have to turn off your recording though to do so, but you can call. I have multiple phones, ma'am. Call. I will when I'm ready. Okay, you're not ready? I'm not ready. Why are you so looking at me with such unease and aggressiveness and the look in your eyes? Yeah, I can tell in your eyes. Okay. I'm a lawful citizen standing in public. I didn't say you were unlawful. I didn't the, say any of the things. What? Everything that you're denying, you're saying about yourself. 
Okay, I would like to be left alone. Okay, and these people would like to be left alone. I have not made contact with anybody, ma'am. Okay, you're still reporting them. And like I said, like what if someone was outside of your kid's school reporting? Them? Would you fight this same fight? Like, hey, they can do this? This is not a school, ma'am. I'm asking you what if though. If they're in public, they have a right to record. You know that, I, I know that. So what are you investigating? It's undercover journalism. I don't reveal my sources. Really undercover, just wearing a fake beard you don't tell me what I can wear or what I do. Again, you're making up this this one-sided story. I didn't say you can't wear that. Okay. I'm telling you, it's not undercover wearing a fake beard. You don't tell journalists how, how they do their job. Just like you don't tell me how to do my job. And you told me to back away to not talk to you. I, I have every right to talk to you too. I didn't say back away. You did, you said it, and that I was making you very aggressive. Okay, so what's the purpose of this? Can I, can I... You can stay here. Oh, I know I can. I know I can. Just like everyone else can stay here. Mm -hmm. Just like he was recording. Nobody's bugging him. Well, then why were you mad at him if he was recording? I'm not mad at him. I'm mad pointing at out the hypocrisy. I'm pointing out the hypocrisy. How so? Exactly. Look, look, look. Let me tell you something. I know I'm tall. I know I'm very handsome. I know that's why I have the female cop on me and the men aren't. But I'm not single, ma'am. I'm sorry, I'm not single. Oh, you seem to really? be very attracted to me. Oh. I have three girlfriends, so I don't have room for another one. It's okay. Wasn't trying to I'm sorry. Well, you seem to be. You seem to be. You won't leave me alone. Okay. Usually when girls don't leave me alone, it kind of so means are something. Are you attracted to all these people that you won't leave alone then? Look, you're the female officer. You're in my face. You're trying to in get information from me. In your face. Yes. I could have COVID and you don't care about how close well, you are to him. You have that fake beard covering your mouth. Yes, it is. For your safety. You're so kind. Thank you. But yeah, I have three girlfriends. I, I'm really not interested, ma'am. I'm sorry. I hate to break it to you, but... Try and survive another day. Okay, it's very hard. It's been hard for a lot of females, but you'll get through it. I'll try my hardest. Okay. Might be. Might still struggle. Possibly. But yeah, three cops over one dude with a camera. Pretty crazy. See? Like, that was not necessary. That's your opinion. As long as I stay legal, you guys can freak out all you want. Freak out? I, you're obviously having an issue with what I'm doing. Oh, a lot of people are having issues. You're so, you're so, you're... you're Okay, you're supposed to educate them and tell them what I'm doing is legal. But that still doesn't make it right. You're, you're not the morality no police. That. We're not in North Korea, ma'am. No you should be we on were. the side of the law. No one said we were. These officers are doing a great job. You're the one that has a problem with me doing nothing illegal. And if it was them standing here, would it be the same thing? It would, but they know better. Know better how? Okay, so can I call the police on these people calling? Call Misu police. Misuse of 911. Call the police. Go talk to them. I've had middle fingers thrown at me. I've been called names. My my peace is being disturbed. Oh, that's very tragic for you. I it apologize. is. Just like it's tragic for people to be recorded. Mm -hmm. You seem to be sympathizing with them and not me. You're supposed oh, to be a new, you're supposed to be a neutral enforcer enforcer of the law. You. Do you not see how it would make them uncomfortable? I see the concern. And if someone has a problem, look, a lot of people they will come up to me like a human being and say, "Hey, what's up?" I understand the concern completely. And what are you gonna are you going to give them the same answer that you gave us? I tell everybody, I'm an, I'm an independent journalist working on a story. Most people just accept it, walk away. Mm -hmm. A few people freak out, call the police. Yeah. Some psychopaths think they need to call 911 over a man with a camera. That's concerning to me. Those people have mental health issues that you should check on. Okay, I'm sure it's just them. No one else has... I, I can show you videos of people having no problem with what I'm doing. Okay, you can do that. I'd actually, I where, could. where do you typically hang out at then? Where do you go? That these people have no issue with you at all. Well, I usually don't tell the government what I do or what I'm doing or where I'm going. Yeah, it's not very... Well, you're, you're telling me that you can show me and then you don't want to show me. No, I say I could show you. I could. <laughs> Finally. Thank you, sir. She wouldn't leave me alone. You're taking pictures? Well, uh, there, you know, I understand the concern. Yeah. So when they ask me, I tell them exactly what I'm doing. I, I, I'm, I work for a private investigator. So I, I'm completely honest with people when they ask me, which I completely understand the curiosity. Yeah. So when I tell them what I'm doing, they're still upset with me, even though I'm not here for them. I wonder what you think you're doing with the I don't know, it's just, it's just a camera, nothing to freak out about, but you know how people are. Yeah. 
Thank you. Yeah. Merry Christmas, ma'am. Thank you. What's going on? Yeah. Oh, I'm out here with the camera. People are calling the police. Oh. Uh, They're freaking out. No reason why, but. That's crazy. Yeah. Thank good you, luck, sir. Man. Have a have a good holiday. You too. Thank you guys. So it's one, two, three, four. Cops over. One man with the camera. There you have it guys. It took four officers to come out and address one man with a camera. And I don't know about all of you, but it seems like these types of audits are starting to actually make an impact. Both in the previous video and this one, these police officers starting to learn that these people have a right to record in public and they are educating all these workers on our rights. In a very short amount of time, we're going to be able to actually exercise all of our rights freely. Can you imagine it? Once again, thanks for watching today's videos and we'll catch you on the next one.